to look at the ready position and the importance of the ready position in hurling. So the ready position is where we have our dominant hand holding the hurley at the top of the hurley. Our support hand is three quarters way down the hurley towards the boss, usually where the tape is around the end of the hurley. And that's our support hand there. Okay, uh, we have the hurley across our body around hip height. The importance of the ready position is we're ready to perform all of the skills of hurling from this position. We're halfway to getting up to bat a ball, we're halfway to go down to control a ball, we're halfway to stretching out to win a ball, uh, or stretching out on the other side to win a ball. In this position, the player is ready to quickly perform any of the skills. Uh, to add to that then, we have the lock position. So the lock position is for striking so, and, and performing the swing. So from the ready position, we bring our hands up, so our elbows cocked. We slide the support hand up to lock onto the dominant hand, and then we can perform the swing. And then we're back into the ready position, sliding the support hand back down the hurley. So again, ready position, we're stepping forward with the leg closest to the target. We're sliding the hand up to lock onto the dominant hand, and then we can perform the swing. We can do the same on the opposite side, where we have ready position, sliding the hand up along the hurley to lock onto the dominant hand, stepping forward with the opposite leg, hurling in front of our face, and perform the swing. So that's the ready position into the lock position, and they're very, very important for every player in hurling.